Dixon here from Zach Dixon Coaching and today we're going to be talking about how to break out of depression. Breaking out of depression and not getting stuck in negative patterns and negative loops of emotion. Because that's the question I got in. She is a person that has been depressed, being stuck, being stuck, can't break out of the negative patterns, keeps beating herself up, beating herself up, beating herself up. And I want to show you how to get through that right now. So this is how you do it. First of all, we need to understand why you're getting into negative patterns or negative loops is because you are addicted to depression. You're addicted to negative emotion. And one thing you need to know is we get addicted to emotions. That's the one thing that we search for. That's the one thing that we get addicted to. You might see someone um, keep going back to the same relationship over and over and over again. And you look at them saying, the person cheated on them. They did this, they did that. Why would they go back to that? Because they're addicted like a drug to that. It's like a drug. They have the highs in the relationship. It's crazy. They're pleasurable. They're having pleasurable experiences. And then something happens. A traumatic experience happens. And they're like, oh my God. <sighs> I'm struggling and they go down a negative path but they're addicted to that emotion because it's going up going down going up going down why do you think people get addicted to drugs do you think they get addicted to you know taking chopping some pill you know injecting themselves or something like that they get addicted to the change of instant change of emotion the instant change of pleasure oh my god if I inject this I feel pleasure the emotional high and they're actually searching for that next high because they're addicted to the emotion because it changes your state if you want someone to remember you in a conversation with them make them feel emotion spike their emotion say something out of the box say something different completely just like what the hell what the hell are they talking about shock them shock their nervous system and they'll remember you because we don't remember what people say we remember what they made us feel like well, that person made me feel this way so they'll remember you so if you want you want someone to remember you you better be started to shock their nervous system say things out of the box go like that because most people hold back in conversations They're like should I push it should I push it this far no 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 I better not I better be like a pleaser uh, hi how are you I better not go overboard but if you go overboard that'll be able to shock them because your true self will come out in that moment so so that's the first thing I want you to realize is you are addicted to your emotion. We all get addicted to emotions. So the way out of getting out of that pattern is you need to do something that you're not used to. You need to change your rituals every day because the reason you're not changing is because you keep doing the same things over and over again. You don't have a standard to say, no matter what, I'm going to change this right now. No matter what, I'm breaking out of this right now. I'm sick of living like this. If you can get to the place of saying, I'm sick of living like this, I'm going to do whatever it takes to change right now. If you can get yourself to that place, your brain will come up with answers to change. Because we realize whatever you're worried about right now, there's a reason you're depressed. You're focusing, I'm guessing, on what you don't have instead of what you have. Because controlling your focus is going to determine how you feel. You know, whatever we focus on is going to determine exactly how we feel. Even things in the future we worry about, they haven't happened yet. But if you focus on them, you're going to worry and it's going to feel like inside that it's already happening because your brain doesn't know if it's happening or not. Because that's what the power of visualization is. If you visualize something in your head, if you visualize something over and over again in your head, your brain believes it's happening. How cool is that? You can actually visualize whatever you want to have happen. And instead of getting the emotion, because people want a car, I want a car. But if you visualize yourself in the car, you'll get the same feelings as the car will give you and you'll get addicted to that. So that's another way of not actually waiting for something to be happy. But you need to do something dangerous. You need to do something crazy. You need to shock your nervous system. You need to realize what you want. Because obviously if you're depressed, you don't have a direct purpose. Because the power of purpose is if you're purpose and you have a direction and you have a goal, a certain goal that you're going for, you don't worry about the little emotions because you don't have time to worry and say, oh my God, this insecurity, oh, I can't believe I don't have this. Because if you're driven and you have a purpose every single day that you're doing, you don't have time to sulk. So maybe, I'm, I'm just guessing right now, but maybe you need to focus on what you really want for your life. What's your purpose? Because if you can find out your purpose, you can start moving towards it. You can say, okay, I know what I want. What are the steps to get there? 
And if I can start taking those steps every day, I'm going to feel like I have purpose. I'm going to feel like I have drive. I'm going to feel like I can do it. You know what I mean? So what you need to do is find out what you want specifically. Write it down. Because if you're depressed, you don't know what you want. You don't want to, don't know what you want and you're sitting there sitting there worrying about, oh, I hope something's going to come to me. You've got to wake up out of that. You've got to realize what you want. Number two, realize you're getting addicted to this depression. So the only way to get out of addiction is shock it. Shock your nervous system. Do something that you're afraid to do. Because if you do something you're afraid to do, your nervous system wakes up. What you're worried about previously doesn't matter because you've got a new thing right in front of you. So do something you're afraid to do by putting it off. And usually doing something you're afraid to do is when you know what you want to, to get there, you have to do things that you're afraid to do. But that gives you self-esteem, confidence, all those positive feelings. And you'll get addicted to the high of the feeling. And once you get addicted to the high, you'll realize all oh, those problems. I can't believe I was focusing on those problems. Look where I am right now. That's the way I broke out. That's the way I've, I've coached other people to break out. That's the way to get out. Realize what you want so you have purpose. Break through it, what you're afraid of, so you get self-esteem. And the last thing is, give yourself credit. Reflect on how far you've come. When you do something good and positive, don't say, oh, don't just leave it. Say, wow, yes, celebrate it. You're like, yes, I just broke through that limitation. Next time, so you get momentum. Because once you get momentum, it's like the snowball effect. I push the snowball down the hill. It starts rolling, rolling, rolling. I take another action. I take another action. I pull the rock out. I pull the rock out. And it starts even going faster and faster and faster. And no matter what, you have momentum and you get what you want so much faster. So just try those three steps. And I promise you, you'll break yourself out of that pattern because your focus will change. And once your focus will change, your life will change also. So live with passion. Boom.